Yo, what it is, what it do. Chaz Moody Music back. So, coming back at you with more good information on branding and rebuilding or rebranding and starting your brand. Um, last video, um, I talked a lot about um, what your brand is built on. So, I think it's only right now that I go into um, when it's time to work with other brands and also uh, rebranding. Um, Cause once your brand is start moving and you got it, you know, going in the right direction, it's important to, um, you know, stay fresh, stay upbeat, stay, um, you know, in the right, moving in the right direction, keeping your vision, uh, staying focused on what it is that you need to do for your brand and what you want your brand to be in, in, in the up and coming uh, weeks, months, years, so forth. So, um, once you got your brand running and you know what it's built on, and you know you start to you start to work with other brands and work with other people, and you you're working on building yours as well. Um, make sure you keep that integrity, keep that passion for your vision and your brand, because a lot of times someone may think that um, you know they they may take your brand for a, a misrepresentation or a uh, something that they, you know, what they may think you, what, what they feel as though your brand should be about or what you, you know, they think that your brand should represent. So keep your representation of your brand in full attack when you work with other brands. Um, and when you work with other, you know, whatever it is, uh, entities or, or creators or, um, you know, big, you know, uh, collaborative, you know, uh, corporations, you know, keep the integrity of your business and your brand intact because they will quickly try to take you from that, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, when you have any type of meetings or you have any type of uh, communications, make sure you have, uh, you know, people around you, witnesses, of course, um, for meetings. So, you know, you can always have someone that, you know, can reference something, uh, take notes during meetings, of course, if you don't. Um, keep in mind that, uh, you know, what's said in, in, in one, you know, instance can change in another. So always try to have someone with you when you when you have meetings, when you, when you, when you are having situations and you're coming up with ideas and, and you wanna be, uh, you know, collaborating with other, you know, other businesses and other brands. So that's one thing, you know, make sure you have witnesses, you know, in your meetings. Um, you know, someone else, you know, even if it's, uh, you know, someone who's not that involved, but if it's someone close to you, you know, family member or, uh, you know, cousin or somebody or someone you can trust, you know, to stand by you, you know, to have someone with you when you, you know, you do meetings. Um, also, keep in mind that when you uh, have agreements to, you know, get as much documentation, paperwork as possible, you know, if you can, if you can disregard cash, um, you know, for payment, you know, try to do that because of course, you know, you can't track that. So always keep your receipt when you pay, you know, try to use it of course through, you know, some type of electronic payment, um, you know, and if it's definitely dealing with someone, you know, coming to you say, oh, I want to, I want you to, uh, I want to promote you and stuff like that. And I want to, I want to, uh, uh, I want you to, 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 to be, you know, highlighted on, on this blog or stuff like that, or, you know, are you, ban are you paying for uh, uh, production or, or beats and everything? You know, I like, you know, invoices are, are important. You know, like send me some type of invoice, send me some type of information that I know that what I'm paying for is what I'm paying for. Don't, you know, tell me what I'm paying for and then change up what I'm receiving is, is different than what I thought I paid for. So. Have some type of documentation when you're paying for stuff, man, so you know what you, you're getting because, you know, there's so many, so many snakes, so many, you know, people to just try to get you for, for whatever it is. So try to get as much paperwork as possible when you're paying for something and try to get it in writing as possible. So, and if you can't get it in writing, then try to definitely get it, um, you know, electronic, electronic payment. Um, 
and have an understanding of that communication. So when you're working with other brands, that's important. Um, you know, have someone there in your meeting. Uh, make sure you try to get as much electronic payment as possible. Uh, try to get uh, some type of invoice on what you you know you expect from a um, you know a, a collaboration or a uh, a business you know partner or a business um, you know the, you know idea that you that you want to you know make happen with your brand. So it's important to get those things as clear cut as possible. So, um, you know, cause there can be times when, you know, you feel as though you work with someone that, you know, you, you grew up with or you knew for years and, you know, you never know, man, then things change, you know what I mean? So keep, keep people, try to collaborate with people that that's about their business. Just like, just as, just as passionate about the business or passionate about the vision or passionate about the uh, ideas that you have. But, um, you know, make sure that they are all in on y'all on the same page as much as possible because things can definitely get uh, misunderstood and, 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 you know, miscommunicated when you're working with different brands. Um, I think, you know, always open to work with people, always working, to, always looking to collaborate with people. So I think that's important. And um, keep in mind that, you know, stay, you know, Focus on, you know, what you would like to see evolve, you know, and build on that and build on the relationships and make good relationships and, and stay, you know, uh, in your character and, and be who you are. You know, don't don't compromise who you are and um, try to keep as, as keep it as, as professional as possible when you're working with other people, because that interaction can. Uh, be a reflection on you if they work with somebody else and they say, well, I work with that. I work with, you know, so-and-so. And when I work with them, you know, this is this, that, and that happened. And that's that's going to leave a trail for your brand. Someone, you know, can spread that information and say, well, yeah, I mean, I, I had a situation with that. that you know, I worked with him one time and this is what happened. Those things matter, you know. So, you know, this is stuff that, of course, everybody should know. Everybody do, do know or maybe don't know. But I just think that it's important to, I want to just get this out to brands and artists and, and, and everyone who who's striving to do something to be, you know, mindful of these things because, you know, these are things that can help you throughout the process. If you have a good rapport and a good relationship with people and, and you know, you you were about your business and you were on time and, you know, you you were uh, descriptive on what you wanted to see and you were passionate about it, you know, that's what's going to stick out in their mind, you know, and. And the fact that, of course, you had the payment and all of that stuff. But, of course, if you, if you, nowadays, it's like if you don't even got a payment, they don't even want to talk to you. So, you know, it, we got to try to get to a point where we can have a communication and have meetings and talk to people and everything. You know, time is important. Of course, time is more important than the money. So if you can collaborate with somebody and you sit down with somebody, and you come up with ideas, that stuff is worth a lot. And um, after you guys have that, you know, business exchange and, you know, you got a good product and, you know, and everything went well. They're going to want to work with you again. They're going to want to collaborate with you again. They're going to want to, um, you know, get that energy that you gave them, you know, with another project. So that's what I'm, you know, been doing, man. I've been just, you know, collaborate with, you know, others and, you know, building and learning from experiences. So I think it's important to share this info. So that's what I'm doing, man. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one here, you know, just building, working with other brands, um, focusing on what you want for your brand, uh, representing your brand in the right way. I'm working with others and, and trying to keep it going, man. Um, I wanted to, you know, definitely just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a, you know, dude to just go out there and talk about certain things when it comes to what's going on in the world. But man, you know, you know, Kobe was, Kobe had a brand and he built the brand and it's what we're going to remember Kobe, what we're going to remember him by is what his work ethic, his his drive, his determination for his brand. He built his brand and, you know, now he, he has something that, you know, is gonna live on forever and that's what it's about. You know, when someone mentions Kobe name, they're gonna mention that the hard work he put in the championships, of course, and all that, but the drive that he was just undeniably gonna get what he got regardless, just like a lot of others that's out there that's been successful, man. It's like, if you don't want that, if you don't have a vision for your brand and you're saying that you really want to do something, you want to do it the right way and you want to be respectful and you want to be respected, you got to have 
that drive that nobody gonna be able to stop what you're doing. So that's important in a brand, man. Focus on your drive. And that's something that, you know, Kobe had, man. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and Gigi Bryant. Um, I just wanted to get that, man, because it wasn't, it's just, it is what it is right now. And, you know, his his legacy is gonna live on for him. We gonna remember him, we gonna always remember him as being a very determined, successful, uh, confident person. And he built a brand on that, you know, and the mom mentality is a real thing, so. And we can all learn a lot from him, man. And I wasn't a Kobe fan growing up, but you know I respected his greatness as the time went on. And you know I was an Allen Iverson fan from the jump. But I just want to let y'all know, man, when you recognize someone being great, someone determined, someone drive, you can't deny it. You know, it's just that's why I'm how I'm feeling right now. I got drive to do certain things, and you can't deny what I'm trying to bring to the table. Once I continue to put this in your face, and I continue to keep working, I continue to putting out content, I continue to keep making good music eventually people are going to look at it and people are going to listen to it and find out who i am you know what i mean so respect to that man and his family and you know prayers to his family and i have prayed for his family and you know praying for and everyone has lost someone untimely and you know staying strong and what is your life going to be after you leave this place what kind of legacy is your life what kind of legacy are you going to have after you leave this place you know people can say whatever they want to say but you know, the interactions is going to be important. So when you're building your brand, those interactions are important. When you, you know, going through life and, you know, you come in contact with people, your brand and who you are get represented a certain way. So um, that's what it's about, man. So um, I'm going to leave this there, man. Um, respect to everybody, you know, watching my videos from How to Build Your Brand Part 1, 2. This is going to be a third installment. I'm working with other brands. So tune in. Chat Moody Music on everything. Follow me. Check the brand, check the logo, um, you know, Chaz Moody Music on all platforms, social sites, man, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, SoundCloud, um, YouTube, check me out, you know what I mean? So, God bless everybody, man, stay up, stay, stay fresh, stay blessed, and um, check me out next time, man, peace.